Thanksgiving is almost here and that means leftovers are not far behind. We headed to the Iowa Culinary Institute at Des Moines Area Community College to get pro advice. We are at the Iowa Culinary Institute on the DMAC campus in Ankeny and we have some special guests and a treat here today. Chef Penny Davidi is here along with Chef John Andrus and all of these great students with the Iowa Culinary Institute. Thanks for having us. So excited to be here. Tell us what we're going to do today. So our students have been hard at work preparing your Thanksgiving favorites this week just so that we have leftovers. They've got some uh, creative concoctions here. They've put together leftovers over pot pies with their Thanksgiving ingredients. So we're about to see what they have come up with. Okay, Penny, should you give them the blessing to start? Absolutely. You guys ready? Yes, yes. Chef. Yes. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Get cooking. We'll see who wins later. <laughs> I am so excited to see what these guys have put together. I mean, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays, but what to do with the leftovers is even more fun. So to see the different creations that they're putting together, is uh, actually interesting. What's your favorite Thanksgiving? Well, the turkey, for sure. I know that's so basic. But, but what do you like to do with it the next day? Oh, uh, sandwiches with the stuffing and all the flavors all right, melded together. All right, so now just take a little bit of that cranberry sauce, mix it with mayonnaise, and do like a cranberry mayo, and then layer it with the turkey. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. Ooh, I love this tip. Yes, yes, it's a great tip. Well, Chef Penny, tell us why you're here. People will recognize you from the Food Network. Uh, what are you doing here at DMAC? That so I'm to here to promote my book. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Well, actually, I am. I am here to promote my book. This is it's my, my book. time. It's my time. It is my time. Um, yeah, so the book just came out, but that's not why I'm here. But yes, you can pick it up on Amazon. Um, <laughs> I am here because I come back every year. It's been a few years since the pandemic. I was here last in 2017. And it's a great opportunity for me to mentor and to talk to these, to these guys, to these amazing, talented individuals as to what they can do beyond just working in a you know, kitchen line or opening a restaurant because everyone in culinary school things, okay, I'm going to get this degree and I'm going to go out and open up a, a steakhouse or I'm going to do a bake shop or... Be on the Food Network? Be on the Food Network, <laughs> exactly. Chef John, what's it like having this perspective, uh, having her share this perspective with your students? You know, it's incredible to have somebody that, uh, that brings outside perspective for our students. And even just in the few hours that Chef Penny's been working with them, I'm already seeing transformation in their personalities. It's awesome to see. Oh, I love that. Okay, how much more time do we have before you judge right. the winner? How close are we? In, 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 in. 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 in chef. All right, I'm excited to see here. What does that mean? In, in chef. In the oven. Oh, okay. In the oven. Well, I think it is dinner time. It Should is. we get everything Let's out? Let's get it out. Let's see. Let's By see. the magic of television. What are you crisping? Right, What's over? So what I'm actually doing is we had a, a whole turkey that was baked earlier. And we peeled off the skin afterwards and fried it. So it's really crispy. Not great for you, but very good. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Okay, and tell us about yours. Okay, so our goal here was to get Thanksgiving dinner in every bite, every slice. So we used the leftover stuffing to create a bottom crust for it. We got more chicken stock in it, made it malleable, put it down, baked it, and then we uh, piped in some whipped mashed potatoes and then used the green bean casserole and the leftover gravy to make that pot pie filling really creamy and thick and delicious. And then on top we put some candied sweet potatoes and a pot pie crust on top. And if you'll notice, I have put the ICI logo. Oh, the, very nice. I love it. Oh. Love that. Fantastic. Looks good. You're going to have to stay tuned because we're going to find out who wins the Thanksgiving challenge and what Chef Penny had to say about the culinary students food fight, if we can call it that. <laughs> well, also coming up, don't let your home be ho-hum this holiday season. Get pro tips for creating a festive vibe without spending a bunch.